Hello there everyone and welcome to my virtual science classroom. This is your teacher Da, teacher Dario Del Mundo and I will be your teacher for this third quarter. And we will tackle all about electricity. Yes, you heard it right. When you hear the word electricity, what comes first into your mind? Do you have anything inside your mind right now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. You are right. When you hear the word electricity, you hear the word also energy. Okay? Because electricity is a form of energy. Electricity can make our appliances work. And today, we will tackle about charges and some different charging processes. So all you have to do is to listen, sit back, and enjoy the lesson. So let us first tackle about electric charges. All of us here in this world is made up of atoms. Very good. And we all know that atoms are made up of different subatomic particles which are protons, neutrons that can be found in the nucleus. And the last part is the electrons, which is located outside the nucleus. So, those are the three subatomic particles of an atom. We have protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons are said to be the positively charged. Neutrons are the neutral one or no charge at all. And we have electrons, which is the negatively charged that is only the moving part of the atom. So those are the three subatomic particles of an atom. And they play a very important role when it comes to charging. Now, I want you to use your mind or maybe this is happening to you from time to time, especially when you are watching television. Have you ever tried to extend your hand near an open television? Or a switch on television? Yes, very good. You observe that some of your hairs are extending towards the screen of your television. And that is what you call static electricity. Very good observation. And static electricity is what we know as electric charges at rest. Okay, so maybe you are already familiar but you do not know how to call it. And now, based on the history way back before, it was discovered by Thales. When Thales is accidentally rubbed an amber, which is a fossilized sap, to a piece of wool, and then suddenly the amber attracts the small and lightest pieces, things. So it attracts to the amber. It is not a magic, but because of the amber becomes negatively charged. That's why it attracts some light and small things towards the amber. And not only that, William Gilbert discovered that it is not only the amber that can attract lightest or smallest thing, but all matter, substances, or other substances that can be Become negatively charged and attracts lightest and smallest things towards it and I will show you by this activity okay class welcome back and this is our activity for today are you ready to do this activity can I hear a yes for that yeah okay very good it seems that you are already ready for this activity but please don't get too excited follow our rules and regulations before we start and please follow this instructional video okay by the way before we proceed this activity simply explains us to understand about charges because we will go into the study of electric charges at rest under the influence of electric forces which is called electrostatics okay so these are all the materials needed all you have to do is a piece of balloon be sure that it's inflated for inflated balloon and then a comb and scissors and a piece of paper as much as possible a scratch paper okay so for the procedures class number one using the inflated balloon so if you have your inflated balloon with you now, I want you to rub it on your hair for several times. After rubbing it on your hair, I want you to put the rub balloon near to a wall. And then observe what happened. And then, 
the next procedure is that using a comb, rub it in a piece of cloth. After rubbing it in a piece of cloth, please place that rub comb near the small pieces of papers and then observe what will happen. Okay, then right after that, I want you to write your observation on your notebook. Very good. So that's how our activity explains charges. It explains the law of electric charges that states opposite attracts and the same charges repel. It's like positive and negative attracts, positive and positive repel, negative and negative repel. So that is the law of electric charges. And now, we have three different charging processes. We have charging by friction, we have charging by conduction, and we have charging by induction. And these three different charging processes will be explained by Dada. Dada. Hello there away. everyone, my name is Dada. And today, I will be discussing to you the three charging processes. Number one, by rubbing or by friction. Rubbing two different materials against each other may cause the transfer of electrons from one material to another. This upsets the balance between the positive and negative charges. Number two is by conduction. Conduction is the transfer of electrons from a charged object to another object. And last, by induction. Induction is the movement of electrons to one part of an object. In the induction process, the opposite type of charge is induced. I hope you learned today. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye!